Welcome back everybody. My name is Jim. Thank you for joining me again on the RV Concierge channel. Happy Sunday. Today's a beach day. We're going to do a video and then we're going to take off to the shore. So today we're going to do a review of a 2022 Coachman Pursuit 29 XPS. But before we get started, let's say hello to Abby. Hi everyone. Thanks for watching. Abby, as always, thanks for helping out with the camera. My pleasure. Alright, let's get started. So we haven't had one of this floor plan, so I'm kind of excited to show it to you. I kind of did a, a, a quick walkthrough of it, but I'm pretty excited for you to see the inside of it. It's pretty neat. So Coachman Pursuit is built on the Ford F53 chassis. All these new Fords are going to have the 7.3 liter Godzilla motor featuring 350 horsepower and 468 pound-feet of torque. They can tow 5,000 pounds. Wow. So let's take a look at the tire size, cargo capacity. We'll do a look at the outside and we'll jump on the inside. All right. All right, so this one has the Goodyear tires and they are 245.70 R19.5. Very nice. With some nice stainless steel simulators on there. So the Pursuit is a gel coat fiberglass and then they put the vinyl decals on it. I like it. Cargo capacity. All right, cargo capacity of this coach is 1,486 pounds. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad for an entry-level Class A. So you got a power awning on this with a nice LED strip. We're going to take a look through the compartments, and then we'll jump on the inside. All right, this one's a big one. Holy cow. Oh, wow, nice. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, they got the ladder for the bunk over the cab in there. Looks like a slide controller. Ooh, nice carpeting. Metal compartment boxes. Very sharp, Coachman. I think they got this up here that magnet is to hold that ladder up. Oh, cool. Oh, neat. There's a couple magnets there. Man, I don't know what that is for. This um, is held up by magnets yeah, too here? Yeah, this is held up by magnets too. I like that. We're one magnet. Mm -hmm. That's good. So you don't have to worry about that falling on your head. I like that. Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> all right. Uh, I've got your propane furnace right there. Mm -hmm. Coachmen are all made with Asdell in the sidewall. Asdell is a green composite board that will not allow this wall to delaminate if water were to get inside of it. Love that feature. Now they don't have an outside TV, but they have a nice bracket here. So you can bring one of your inside TVs, probably the bedroom TV, hanging onto this. You can plug it into the cable right there and you got a 110 outlet on a GFI circuit. It's really a right smart there. idea. It is. I like how they're doing this little mirrored finish uh, emblems, the XPS, I like that. Mm -hmm. All right, right here, that is not a compartment. Uh, there is a remote propane look hookup right there, but inside there is just like sewer pipes and it goes straight to the ground, so it's not storage. Loving this, Abby. This has got a magnet too. Look at this full pass. Wow, this is great. Huge. What a cute little cubby. Cute big cubby. Wait, wait, wait. Raise, lower. What is that? What's happening? You got some stabilizer jacks. Oh. Scissor jacks. Okay. So this does not have four point hydraulic leveling, it's got stabilizer jacks. Entry level coach. All right, let me raise those back up. You do have a GFI outlet in here and a, and a LED light. And you have access from both sides and the back. All right, that's up. I like that. It's different. I don't think I've ever seen stabilizer jacks on a day before. All right, so rear bumper, you can certainly store your sewer tube in that. It's a nice steel bumper. They do give you a ladder to be able to access the roof and you have a backup camera as well as side view cameras on this one. I'm just gonna peek in here. This is access from the back. Pretty nice, not bad. All right, then you got your fuel fill on the back here. I like that because yeah. you can kind of see in your backup camera when you need to stop. All right, and then you got a 5,000 pound hitch with the seven pin connector. I know they're putting an 8,000 pound hitch on this, but if you look at the gross combined, 5,000 is gonna be about all you can tell storage compartment and here you have your auto transfer switch and your short power cord very nice different. i've never seen this floor plan before this is different uh you got your waste dumps right there and then all of your water connections you got your fresh water tank 
fill, your sewer tank flush, your city water connection, and your park cable right there. Well, that's convenient. You got uh, a slide right here. This one is storage, just a little bit of storage. A little bit. Hi, ah, you almost got me. Almost. Good thing you moved quick. And there is your 4KW owning quiet gas generator. Now this is a 30 amp, one AC, and a 4KW generator. You got your water heater right here. And next to that, your outdoor shower with hot and cold water. And well, look, Abby, they do vent your microwave outside instead of having an exhaust fan on the inside. And charcoal filtering that. That's cool. Uh, air back in. There's your propane tank. For all your propane needs. That's right. Which and is a last lot. one, probably a little tiny bit of storage. Yep. Just a little bit. A little bit. All right. Moving forward. No side view cameras. Hmm. Huh. This is a real price point model. Sta no stable or no no auto leveling and no side view cameras. Hmm. Not sure how I feel about that. <laughs> could you put uh, could you put in your own side view I'm cameras? I'm sure you can, and I, I, I'm sure they didn't include it in this because it's a price point model. But this is a classic. Maybe they maybe. maybe it's an option. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Pursuit by Coachman. All right, Abby. That's the outside of this beautiful coach. Let's go take a look at the inside. Let's do it. All right, Abby, slides are in. Come on, let's show them how we can get to the bathroom, the refrigerator, and the bed with the slide outs closed. All right, here I come. Oh, I have got plenty of room here in the pursuit. Access to the fridge, access to the toilet and bedroom. Looks good, Jimmy. All right, let's open her up. All right, the rest. let's do it. All right, let's start the cab and we'll work our way back. So. You're gonna have the new steering wheel, auto headlights, and a few new features for the new F53 chassis. These are new seats. The, the coverings for the driver and passenger seat and the furniture and dinette is all new material for 2022. Very it's nice. It's really pretty. Huge infotainment center, and that's gonna take care of your backup camera as well. Very nice dash. You got a workstation up here as well. A couple power ports there. And there should be a 110 outlet right there. Yep, on the bottom of the dash. Very nice. Now these seats do swivel around and become part of the living space. And you have a drop down bunk up here. So there's a I couple like switches. That. All you gotta do is push the switch forward on both sides. And this just folds down twice to be able to come a single bunk. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. And it has yeah. a privacy side. It's like already got your privacy curtain. Yeah, on the front of it, yeah. Pretty nice. And then pretty easy, it's, it's a shock absorber assist so it pulls it back up that's really easy yep looks like you got a jackknife sofa on this side with a drawer on the bottom and they're giving you some storage above there too that's pretty big wow very nice storage you got 110 outlet up here with two reading lights i like those and corrugated nightshades privacy shades and i like that they put the television directly across from the sofa and I think if you swivel both of those seats, you're still going to be able to see. And you can definitely see it from either side of the dinette. I do like the placement of that television. All right, everybody, here's what I'm going to ask you for some help. If you are not working with a salesperson at my dealership, I'm going to ask you to please ask for me. Selling Coaches actually supports this channel, so please ask for me. And also on top of it, I'm going to take your feedback on this product back to the manufacturer. So do me a favor and leave some feedback in the comments below. And if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. You got storage underneath of the dinette here. Now this is a dream dinette, so that goes down to a sleeper. So you have a bunk over the cab, you have this, you have this, and a master in the back. Wow. I'm digging it. All right, let's take a look at the kitchen. Look, well, this storage right over top of the door here. And that's where you're gonna put your AV stuff and your awning switches in there for the power to awning. Now this is a new 12 volt compressor refrigerator. I do like this refrigerator. So if you had a gas electric refrigerator, the same footprint of this, it would actually be smaller because these compressor refrigerators are deeper. So you can put more stuff in them. So the eight KW or the eight cubic foot uh, gas electric is probably similar in size to this, but that's gonna hold more stuff right there. You got some storage here. I'm sure you can put some shelves in that's there. That's nice. That's storage. Yeah, we got a little bit up here too. Oh yeah, a little bit of storage up there, and then you have three nice soft closed drawers right here, and then below that is your 12 volt and 110, 
control room fuses, 110 breakers. Looks like the furnace is underneath of the refrigerator. And you got a little L-shaped kitchen here. I'm digging it. You got a nice tile backsplash, dual stainless steel sink with the faucet here. And that does feel like a pull-out sprayer. No, is it? Yeah, it is. It's a pull-out sprayer faucet. This is how they're shipped from the manufacturer the, so the fixtures don't get scratched. Good idea. Got some storage up here. I'm sure you can put a shelf in there. Mm -hmm. A little microwave. Cute. Now that is not convection because they do give you this nice oven right below the that three burner nice gas cooktop. And then you got three burners here. Not bad. Very cute. There's a good amount of counter space right, it is. right I was around. I going to say that. Yeah. that. Probably could have put a countertop extension on the end here. You probably still can. And then what a, a little, great idea. Look at this. What's that for? Place for your wastebasket. You certainly. Oh, I'm so happy. There. But that's yeah, I, now... think that's, I think that's a necessary. Yeah. It is. Where are you going to put it? You're going to put it out in the open where you're tripping over it or outside where the animals can get into it? You really need some place in the kitchen. Every there. time we camp, that's always a, yeah. a problem. Nice. All right, coming on back, you've got a split bathroom here. They do have an accordion door. Since it's a split bath, you want to have the shower having privacy. Mm -hmm. And that looks like a two by three shower. Plenty a little bit enough. of good, clean fun, maybe. Yeah, that's pretty small. Pretty tiny in there. <laughs> yeah, it's but it's little. a nice shower for what the what it what it offers. It's pretty nice. Stool room. Uh, plastic uh, pedal flush. This is a real price point mile. Um, everything is going to be entry level in this, but it, it's a lot of coach for the money. I You've got a nice so. linen closet here. Look at this. Yeah, mirror, sink with a little bit of countertop space. Super adorable. Some shelves there. A little bit of storage under here. And this is not in a bad position. I have mm -hmm. plenty of room here. You do. And uh, I really, and there's a 110 outlet right there as well. So accordion door here, accordion door at the bedroom. Abby, is this I love a king it. or a queen? It looks pretty wide, but I know, I don't, maybe I don't it's know. like a fat queen. Yeah, it's actually pretty wide. I, I think that I don't I don't know if that's a full king. I'll have to I'll have to specify that later. But you do have the Coach Pap station, as all Coachman products do. You got hanging wardrobes on either side with a bunch of storage over top and huge nightstands on either side with a drawer. Very cute. And it looks like it's prepped for a TV over here. Make it over there. Yeah, right up in the corner. Doesn't look like there's one there, but uh, they did prep it. Now let me look for outlets. Yep, you got 110 outlets on either side of the bed base. And I like this little right there too. pedestal there. So you got like four outlets in here. There's one there, one on either side of the bed base, and there's definitely going to be one up in the... Uh, I think we could all agree. Apartment. You could probably take a few more. Yeah. Nice hanging closet. Wow. Listen, I, I won't harp on it because this is an entry level class A. I think it's really nicely appointed. Um, and honestly, if somebody wanted full leveling jacks or turn signal cameras or some of the things that this is missing that the upper level units have, those can be added. But this is a price point model. It's, it's the ability to get into a class A for just right around or above a class C. And it really has a lot of space in here. I'm digging this. This I like is not it. bad. I think it's very nice. So this is definitely like an upgrade from the little 27 XPS that doesn't have a slide. This at least has the single slide, so it gives you more space in the living area. And I think you've got plenty of space back here with a north-south bed. All right, let's give them a once-through, and we will wrap this up. All right, guys, check it out. Coachman 2022 Pursuit. Coachman <laughs> Pursuit 29 XPS, and it is still available, folks. Not for long, I bet. <laughs> so we have no Class A's right now. So if you would like to know more or if you have any questions, you can text, call, or email me. Information's right there. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Stay tuned for more. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Please subscribe.